It's Don. Hold on. It's him. Shh. Hello? Hello? Hey, Hi, baby. How are you? I this is NCL News. It is. Yeah. But you just, cool. you just caught me coming out of the shower. Get him a link. I wonder, I want to talk to him. What the hell? What are you doing? I know what she's doing. What am I doing? Yeah, well, no, what am I doing? What are you Don, doing? I'm the one that called you before. I would love to talk to you. Can you grab a link? Do you want to come play? Do you have a manager? A manager? Yeah, he asked me if I wanted to complain. Come play? I know, I said if you want to come play. Come play what? Come play with us. I want to talk to you, Don. Really? Yes, Laura wants to talk to you. Who knows? Laura? Laura's her partner in, uh, in MGL Perplex News. Yeah, right. I swear to God. I tried talking to you on Dubs. He wouldn't let me on. I think he's scared of me. They know what they're hoping to get, but you got to agree to it. Oh, oh, the $5 that's just skank money. I sent another super chat on Doug's, but I forgot to type my question. Hashtag skank money. $5 is skank money. You now, now they do fucking pay for beautiful hotels and your airfare and stuff. That they yes. do. Of course. And the food, but people, someone just said they're there for two weeks. No, they're there for like no. They You're literally like there that. for two days. So you fly they in the morning. Like the They're they producers. There forever. Two They're, days. Max. These producers have the hardest job. They are working all, all day and all night. They, they work the hardest. They gotta, and they got to make sure that they lock you in and that you don't back out. They'll tell you, I'm going to lose my job if, if you don't come. Yeah. Everything, they, everything is done with such precision and like a business, like boom, boom, boom. we pick these people up the airport, they have someone stands in there with a sign, get in the fucking car, you take you to the hotel, you immediately get your car room key. Oh, your name is what? Show your name. They go and here's your vouchers for this, 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 this. I've been around. I've been around with all this TV stuff. It's, it's super easy. All you gotta do is show your ID. They take care of everything. Ah, oh, skank money. Thank you. It's Don. Hold on. It's him. Shh. Hello? Hello? How you doing? Hi, baby. How are you? I thought this was MCL News. It is. Yeah. But you just cool. you just called me coming out of the shower. Get him a link. I wonder I wanna talk to him. What the hell? What are you doing? I know what she's doing. What am I doing? Yeah. Well, no, what am I doing? Don, doing? I'm the one that called you before. I would love to talk to you. Can you grab a link? Do you want to come play? A manager? A manager? Yeah, you said, you asked me if I wanted to come play. Come play? No, I said if you want to come play. Come play what? Come play with us. I want to talk to you, Don. Really? Yes. Laura wants to talk to you. That's Laura. Laura's her partner in uh, in MGL Perplex News. Yeah, right. I swear to God. I tried talking to you on Doug's. He wouldn't let me on. I think he's scared of me. No, I yeah, I'm scared of a lot of women. Why? No, I'm just the evil candle lady. Why? What's the matter? Nothing. What's up? What's going on? Are you and Doug good friends? No. I'm going to fight as soon as I can meet up with that motherfucker. What? Don, I think you were set up. No way. Don, I think you were set up. Yeah. No, no. 
I'm, I'm just kidding. Doug's a good guy. Don, I think you were set up. Now, what do you think of AB and Tiffany Marie? Yeah, right. Right. Don, I think you were like set AB up. And Tiffany Marie? Uh, I don't know. I, I, would, I mean, from what I've heard about AB, I, yeah, I don't know. You don't know? I tell Don to come on panel. I want to tell him how we were set up. Yeah. yeah. Are you doing okay? I'm okay. And then, uh, yeah. How about y'all? Um, I'm all right. It's getting cold. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Molly, tell us to come on panel. We're all doing the best we can, yeah, right? Yeah. Are you having a nice little drink? Yeah, I'm having a little bit of drink. But just don't drive, okay? No. Molly, get him on I'm panel. Okay, she's not right. I was, man, I was so pissed off for my wife, but never mind, it don't, it don't even matter. I was, just, I was just trying to get out of the situation. I took the whiskey with my wife, through the like, freaking passenger seat, and they said, you know, I'm getting arrested. And that's the truth, but that's all. How did you feel about, did you ever get to see the billboards of your daughter? The billboard, billboard. Yeah. yeah. Never even heard of it. Yeah, there's a highway billboard for oh, sure. Yeah. I saw. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I went and had dinner with four two three chase today. Yeah. How was it? It was all right. I mean, I was worried for a minute <laughs> after everything I heard. heard but when I met him, I mean, it Paul, I want to know his opinion. Yeah, you know, is people hear stuff, uh, they talk stuff behind each other's back, but when you meet them face to face, you know, it's a different story. You know how that works. It's my life every day. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, it's just human nature. Yeah, and I, and I, and I am, I'm no better than anybody else. I'm the same way. I ain't gonna lie to you and say it all. You know, that's just how humans are. Yeah. But we did make an agreement. Yeah. What was the agreement? Any questions about me? He contacts me. If I have any questions about him, I called him and asked him first, and we shook on that. So I thought that was kind of cool. How, how did you guys become friends? I didn't hear you. Sorry. Like, how did you guys become friends? Well, I don't know that we are friends uh, oh. as, of, as of this point. So do you feel like you're at a point where you just can't trust anybody? Well, after you go through, like, yeah. you know what? When I when, when summer first came up with and I had 2,500 friends. And then I deleted that account. And then I just went through about 2,000 other friends that I just deleted off my phone. And then now... Now my phone is back, back up with probably, I guarantee you, at least 2,000 friends as of right now. What do you think people want from you? You need to speak to me. I don't know. I, I think, you know, like, like most, I'm not just going to say women, but guys too. Uh, they want to be friends with me so that, you know, as, as in most cases, you know, they, they act like they're my friend and then they, and they, they come up with the question, uh, where's Summer? The most rudest thing ever. Okay, what'd you do with her? We know you done something with her, blah, blah, blah. You know, kind of kind of like that. And it just, it just kills your heart, you know, over and over and over again. And, and, you, and, you, and you spend your time explaining to people, you know, how you feel and what you're about. And you just do that over and over and over again, thousands of times, you know? Yeah. Oh, shit. What? I got somebody trying to call me right now. We don't want to know that call for now. Um, it just, it's been like this from day one. It won't 
I guess ever changed, I guess. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Don. Your daughter is so beautiful and so it really touched a lot of people's That's lives. Cool. And That's so cool. And like I'm we glad. I'm, I'm so thankful for that. Uh, you know We just want to find her, you know? So people see so see people see well, I I don't understand that. I I, I kind of I don't understand that to a point because I mean I love her with all my heart. Um, you know, people could say she could be here right now. People could say anything in the world to her and I would face her. But if I said, "Summer, why'd you do that?" She would break down in tears and just start crying. And I'd have to I would have to say, "Summer, I'm." Sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I'm so sorry. I, I, I have to say that ten times over just to get her to calm down. I hug her, and hold her constantly. I was, was the only one, that, and I wouldn't do it intentionally. Don't get me wrong. I wasn't trying to hurt her, but if I said something, it would tear her apart. But nobody else. It didn't matter. So, you know, as far as she was concerned, anybody could say they were the hell they wanted to to face her. But if I said something accidentally, it would just tear her to pieces. And I didn't mean to ever do that, anything like that. Um, I would have to apologize to her and tell her, I'm sorry, son. I love you. I love you all my heart. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. And she said, that's okay, Daddy. So. Do you think that she can be found? I hope and pray. I hope and pray with all my heart. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I mean, you've been very vocal. I mean, can you tell us, tell me, or you know, just talk to me? Like, why have you been so vocal? That's what I guess you, a lot of people want. You want me to tell you why? Yeah. I've been that way. Yeah. I've, I've always been really shy. I've always been. Uh, not that person whatsoever. But what, what made me that way is for summer. And that, that's the only reason. Yeah. That's the only reason. If I can do anything possible for her, be down right, I'm going to do it. That's the only reason. I don't give a damn about myself. But for her, I'll do anything. Have you talked to your boys? I'll give my, I'll give my own life. I'm sure you would. Yes. I'm sure you would. Have you talked to your boys? Yeah, all the time. Have you seen them? Yeah. Good. Are you planning on staying in that area? Tell me needs to well, stay. You know, we was, I was wanting to move back to Utah. I've been planning on moving back to Utah. But here's the problem. Uh, our, our church is calling for everybody to to move out of the city and move out into the country to self sustaining land. Okay. You're not gonna find that in Utah. Um, but here in Tennessee where it always rains, you can grow a garden. This, this is totally the most self sustaining land you'll ever find on this earth. So I, I for that reason I have to stay here. I don't want to Ah, damn, Doug, Doug, stop. Doug's calling you? Yeah, but uh, for that reason, I have to stay here to try to preserve our family. You know? And I advise you to do the same thing. Like I advise anybody. Uh, yeah, be very careful. Um, our church is calling for people to move out of the city into the country to so sustain land. So, so that's very important. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Are, are people, how are the people, how are the people, Don, in your town, like how are the people treating you and your wife? Like, do they? You know what? It's really, it's really kind of funny. This is how I feel. The YouTube community and the world is really treating us like dog shit. But because of that, I feel like law enforcement, and I hope this stays true, but 
because of that reason, law enforcement and everything that's from this area are standing up for us. If that makes any sense. Well, okay, so you think that the YouTube community is a not lot all. more, not all, okay. Not all, because there are good people out there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There are people, yes, thank God. Yeah. Thank God for that. You know, because most people have been against this, you know, so bad that it's just so heartbreaking that, I mean, Canada's even had a stroke, you know. Really? When, when, our, when our daughter first disappeared, Canada's had a stroke. Uh, uh, she's so heartbroken, so screwed up. That was our day. We, we, we love truth with everything we got. We still do, don't get me wrong. I'd do anything to get her back, but even even I would give my own life if, if I could. What does your gut tell you? What do you think she is? I don't know. You don't? I don't either. I don't. You know, your, your brain goes from one end of the spectrum to some meth hit, dirty son of a bitch got her. Uh, done all this and that, and then killed her through the freaking river, and then, you're, you know, and then the next minute your brain's on the other, maybe somebody can give a freaking hell of a butter and it's treating her good. You know, your brain just goes like that from one end of the special to the other, you know, you can't hope that. It's just human nature. Wow. You know, it, it's hell. It's pure hell. Are they still looking down there or no? Oh, oh yeah. They are? Oh yeah. I, I pretty much, everything that I can think of, I send the TV on. Uh, do you? So, so you talk, you, you you are in contact with law enforcement and you, all right, okay. So you're in contact with law enforcement and you work with TVI? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. I tell them everything that I can think of constantly. When I when they block me up here, they have me in there. There's, have me in there for an hour and a half to talk to them. You know, we're good people. I mean, they let me know what's going on. I mean, they, let, they don't let me know about the investigation, but they let me know that they're doing everything they can. Let's put it that way. Is Grandma back? Yeah. How's that going? How's that going? Is that all right? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, me and her just learned to get along. The first, you know, when we first met, we weren't getting along for nothing, you know. But, mm. Yeah, you know how that works. Yeah. Did she bring her other son with her? Or is she still up there in Wisconsin? Oh, Kansas is in No, 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 not uh, grandma's, grandest. The son. The one that she went that just got out of jail. She lost her daughter 11 years ago to kidnapping. Yeah. Did you know her? Uh, no, I never did get to meet her, but she came down to Arkansas where we was. But I was at work at the time, so I never actually got to meet her. And they say, you know, she disappeared. Left three kids behind. They're all in the there ain't no way the woman would do that. There ain't no woman in the right mind going for just three kids behind like that. So but, we're sure that she was kidnapped. Okay, but don't, don't you find that weird that, like, she was kidnapped and then and your daughter's kidnapped? Did you ever, like, think, you know, grand okay, disruption? Yeah. You did? Don't she? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I have, I've never met you guys, so I was, like, wondering, like, how does how does your wife feel? Is, like, did, did your wife, does your wife, like, think that that it's related and that it has something to do with grandma? It, it could be related. We don't know. That's the thing. We just don't know. But Candace is so tore like I said, she had a stroke. Yeah. I mean, she's only old, but she's young. Yeah. She's young. She has a stroke. That's how, that, that's how stressed she is. How and old is it? Every day for about 10 days, you know, drinking or what? Her words were slurred. Her lip was hanging down. Oh, yeah. She might have had a Bell's palsy attack. That's it. Yeah, she got Bell's palsy. That she got that from stress. Yep, that's 
exactly what she did. Yeah, she got Bell's palsy. Like her slurred speech and her face was kind of drooping down. Yeah. yeah, and if you take a drink, the like the drink comes down your face. Yeah, that's Bell's palsy. That's um, it, it was her nerves. It's a nerve right near her nose. Yeah. She's so stressed. She goes to the little girls just like I do. Straight out. Wow. I don't do anything with my little girl, but I, there's nothing I can do. We don't know where she's at. We don't, we don't know who got her, which way she went. I mean, if I did. I'd be straight up to the ass, I promise you. And then so. I wish I knew. Yeah. Does he think grandma would help? People like you and other people wish they knew. You know what I mean? Well, I, th I think his daughter's alive. I hope so. I, I, I think she's alive. Ask him. So, I, I pray so every day. Right. And it's going to be fine, God, that she left. Too. That grandma left right after all this started happening. Yeah. It's. Ask him. Some, Summer's a very, very beautiful girl. She had yeah, eyes so like an I'm, angel. I'm so thankful that you, you and other people think the same thing. I, I, it's, hard, it's hard to imagine how so many people love her like that. I don't get that. Strangers? For that. Strangers? Yeah, I just I think strangers love her. Like, I just care. And I like y'all do. It's supposed to be like, it's so cool. It's not easy, I'll tell you that much. Why is that easy? It's not, it's not easy because we, we do care and we love these babies and we try and find answers and, you know. Over 300, I think right now there's over 300 missing kids in Eastern Tennessee now. Yeah. And then uh, uh, off one reservation in Oklahoma, there's 500 missing children over the years. And then there's another reservation in Arizona, similar situation. A lot of little kids missing. Boy, wow, man. That's why I said so. TBI, I said a bunch of mean stuff. I was just so mad. I mean, why can't they do this stuff? What's up, baby? No, hi. Or go party. Can't just gotta go to the party? Yeah. Is she drunk? No. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> yes. Mom, can you hear me? No, well, no, well, you, no, I, I heard her. <laughs> when's Summer's birthday? Summer, your daughter, when's her birthday? What? What is Summer's birthday? I don't know. You don't know? You're telling me that you and your wife Candace does not know when can when your daughter's birthday is. You just did. Don, you just asked Candace. When is Summer's birthday? Yeah, when is Summer's birthday? When was she born? Yeah, when is her birthday? You tell me, she's your daughter. I don't even know my own birthday. That that's a problem. Uh, why is that a problem? That you don't know your own birthday, that you don't, that you love your daughter so much that you're willing to go on TV and do this and, and oh, TBI, I'd give my life for her, and you don't know when your own birthday of your own missing child is? Come on. Oh, man. Me too analytical, man. oh analytical. No, I'm, I'm saying what everyone is thinking. Don, you need to get your shit together. Oh, hell no. Hell no, what? You don't know when, and neither does Candace. That speaks volumes. Oh, hell no. Hell no what? Oh, fucking hell no. Fuck me. Fuck you. No, no. I know. When is your daughter's birthday? You're telling me that your wife and you don't know when your kid's birthday is? Oh, fuck you, man. No, not fuck me. Whatever. No, it's not whatever. Whatever. 
You're going to lose them. Listen, you call me a bitch all day. That's great. That's fine. But who? think about what you just said to me right now. Think about that. You don't even know what your only daughter, and you don't know what her birthday is, and neither does Kansas? Oh, fuck you, man. You're being fucking way over fucking ever overbearing about some stupid shit. What about her fucking life? Molly, you're gonna lose them. Yeah, yeah, when was she yeah. when was she born? I'm asking about her life. When was she born? Fuck off with that shit, man. Man, fuck you. All right, fuck me. Ask yeah, them what you are missing. I'm sorry, but I thought it was a very important question. Well, it, it is. It well, then, is. and you can't answer it. I don't give a fuck about what year it is. You got me all fucked up. Let me talk to him. What, what even fucking year it is? I fucking work my ass off every fucking day. Do you think anybody gives a fuck about, about that? Yeah, we do. You know your daughter's birthday. Man, fuck you. No. No, 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 no. You can't come off to me like that. But, but no, 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 I'm not being mean. I'm just. No, 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 fuck you. All right, fuck me. No, fuck you. Fuck. Her life is way more important than her fucking birthday. Now, fuck you, you're not bullshit. But did you hear fuck what you just said? Fuck you. You ain't gonna come off to me like that bullshit. No, fuck that. It's February 4th. Fuck what it's February 4th. Summer. No, fuck you. Her. I care about Why is her fucking birthday her actual exact second that she was born? No, I didn't ask you the exact second. That just the day, just the day. Okay. It's February fourth, and let Candace know. Five years with that little girl. I loved her with everything I got. Worked my ass off for five years straight. What the fuck have you done? Run your fucking mouth. You're gonna run your fucking mouth. That's it, man. Fuck you. Who the fuck do you think you are? I'm no one special. I'm no one special. I'm just someone that cares about where your baby is. That's all. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. No. How can you say fuck you when we... What? I fucking little girl. I fucking done everything I could for the little girl. Man, fuck you. I was in the hospital when she was born. What day was that? My ass off, man. Fuck you. Shut the fuck up, bitch. I fucking raised her. I didn't fuck ass for nobody's help. I fucking... I built this fucking addition over here. I've done all kinds of shit that you have no idea. You have no fucking clue, motherfucker. Don't you fucking raise your voice to me. I won't. I respect you. Thank you. You're welcome. What the fuck does it matter what fucking exact day she was born? All that matters is I fucking raised that little girl. I fucking loved that little girl for five years straight. Who the fuck are you? I just want to know if you knew her birthday, and you didn't know neither to Candace, and that was it. I don't even give a fuck about my own fucking birthday or the president's birthday. No, I don't know the president's birthday either. I can give a fuck less about anybody's fucking birthday. Don, I totally understand. My heart. Every fucking fiber of my being, I love that little girl. Don't even come off to me like that. I won't. Don. I need to fuck less about my own fucking birthday. My birthday is in a few days. I don't give a fuck. Happy birthday. Who gives a fuck? Happy birthday. That's it. I don't give a fuck about what year it is. Me either. I feel you, Don. I'm with you on that one. I care about you, Don. All I know is I love that little girl. All my you can't heart. hear me. Believe that. I believe you. No, you can. He can. I will always love her. I will never forget her forever. No way. But you know what? I do know this. If I keep, if I keep God's commandments, that's that way important. Keeping God's commandments, that's more important than anything. The birthdays, dates, time, that shit don't all matter. Is that Candace? That is important. Does Candace need anything? And I'm not doing a good job with that. What the fuck do you do, God? I didn't do that. Fuck it. Really? Hey, Don. Anyway, anyway, I pause.
sorry, Steve, okay? It's okay. I can take it. I am a bitch. Okay. Well, I'm a bitch, too. Sorry. My bad. Oh, my gosh. I'm a bitch, too. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm not proud of this. I'm not trying to be that way. I, I apologize. I'm just so really ill-tempered because, you know, it's that time of the month and everything for me. Well, look, I have, like, six kids. I can, re I can remember one of my kids' birthday. 111 11 that's why it's and that's the only reason I can remember that because it was um uh, September what? September 11th. Oh, it's not why that's 10 that's 9 11. Man, fuck you, it's 11 11. That's November 11th, and whose birthday is that? Yeah, 11 11. I said that. Hi, Candace. Don't throw shit at me, bitch. I don't throw shit at you. Sorry, I'm bad at birthdays and stuff, but you know what? That doesn't, I don't give a damn about birthdays. I don't care about birthdays. I only care about the fact that I love people and I love my kids. It doesn't matter about the birthday, <laughs> okay? It might be important to you, so I apologize to you for that. Okay. Okay. I said that. Is that Josie's birthday? It is. Oh. Okay, that might be important. You. Okay, but that doesn't mean nothing to me, okay? okay? So for that reason, I apologize to you. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's, okay, yeah, I'll be down in a minute. I'll be right down. I know I said nothing about the story. Fuck you, yeah. man. Tell him to talk to me. And the person that's important to me, to, it's just me that the birthday don't mean shit to me. I mean, I'm sorry. Time don't matter to me. It's just like, I don't know. I'm just a different person, I guess, okay? I'm sorry. I know with you women, birthdays and stuff like that's important. Yeah. But to me, to me it's just, uh, I don't care about that kind of a thing. It's just about the person and their memory. I mean, the, who they are. I'm sorry. Okay. And for that reason, because I was insensitive to that, I apologize. It's okay. okay? Because women are different. They like, okay, I get it. I'm sorry. It's all right. Don't worry about it. I don't know. I feel bad about it. No, don't feel bad. Tell them to it's talk okay. to me. It's just women are different than guys, I guess. I know. I'm, I'm very submissive, you know. And I'm kind of quiet myself. No, uh, I owe you apology. It's all right. You already apologized. No, I owe you no, it's all right. Is she okay? She's in pain. Why? What? It's cold. Stop, please. I will in a minute. Oh, she's cold. She's cold. She wants you to set the fire. Yeah, I got a little fire. Yeah. But I'm sorry I was insensitive to that issue. I get it. Yeah. I'm sorry. I really am sorry. Don't. It's okay. You don't have to. Uh, uh, you already apologized. I accept your apology. Thank you. You're welcome. You. I'm just not giving up birthday. I'm a guy. I'm sorry. I just don't give a damn about that. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be insensitive. No, it's that. okay. I get it's it. About, it's about the life and the person. It's, I'm sorry. It's okay. Yeah. I guess just guys and girls see things a little differently. My God. No, it's all right. I don't give a damn up on my own birthday. I don't give a damn up on my own birthday. I'm sorry. It's okay. She wants that damn fire. So are you are you anxious to see uh, yourself on Dr. Phil? No, I'm really not. Are you I'm worried? About it, I can give a less now, but I will never see it. Are you worried about it? I don't think so. I don't know. All right. Uh, I, 
Yeah, Laura's uh, Laura's here. She wanted to ask you a question, my friends. Yeah. What? Yeah. Holy crap. You you called me while I was live, and Laura's trying to ask you questions, but I can't hear can't hear anything. I have the volume down. What's the matter? I thought I was talking to you just one hour before I get called out. Oh, well, well, it was you and me, but I had the volume all the way down and she was on mute. And then you put me live. No, no, you, well, no, you called while I was live. Holy crap. Don't worry about it. You made a bigger dumbass on myself again. No, you didn't. <laughs> you didn't make a dumbass on yourself. You just shocked me. I, listen, I was the one that was yelling, not you. No, 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 I was the one that was almost crying. Okay, it, all right, go ahead, Laura. Hey, Don. Hey. Don, we share a mutual um, disrespect for somebody that we both dislike very, very much. So that's like our bond here. But I do have a couple of questions. So She's I'm talking about oh no, no wait wait wait. Who who's the one you don't like, Laura? Don, can you jump on panel so it's easier? Can I do what? Can you jump on panel so it's easier? Because then it would be much easier for me to talk because I'm like yelling, so you can hear me. Jump on what? Now? Yeah, okay, I will. Um, okay, yeah. All right. Molly, get him a link. Get him. Give me a minute, though. Okay. Okay. Show me. Okay. What do I do? Okay. Come on over to Molly Go Lightly on YouTube. Uh, Molly Go Lightly? Yeah. Why does that seem like a... Never mind. I'm not going to say it. It's just easier. So no, I it's, it's the name from Breakfast at Tiffany's. That's it. That's all it is. Tiffany? No, 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 Breakfast at Tiffany's, the movie. Remember Breakfast at Tiffany's from 1962? Her name was Holly Golightly. Yeah, send a link on your phone. You guys are so messing me. I'm so glad. <laughs> Just send a link on your phone. Okay. Uh, how do I? How do I do that? You just go to your live stream on your phone. Live stream on the phone. Okay. Ready, get Jess, then stop. Get out of the blankets. I'll fix it. Did you say Molly go lively? Yeah. YouTube? Yeah. It says, um, no thanks with Don Wells. See? Um, um no thanks. I just got off the Yeah, I know. We were listening. And I hopped on there for like a second. There you go. Don. Don. Everybody's saying, get off there, get off there, you make a fool of yourself. Actually. Okay, so I'm not a fan. No, it's, you'll see me. If you put in Molly Go Lightly, it'll say live. Just come in. Molly Go Lightly on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. See it? Okay. All right. I'm, put, I'm putting the link. Oh, my MG. Yeah, do you see it? It says OMG. Click on that, and then there's a StreamYard link. Tell me when to drop it, and then you hit on it. Oh, God. I don't know how to text the StreamYard link. Laura, can you text text them the StreamYard link? Whatever. Whatever. Oh, shit. Go to bed. I can't. My phone's dead. Just gonna commit suicide. No, don't say that. I'm kidding. Don't, yeah, don't say that. We're all on line with a bunch of women. See, exactly. We're all wonderful. Oh, wow. 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 <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Baby, take your ass to bed. Get on flight. It's a stop your shit. Did he find the channel? Hold on. I'm sure that. 
Yeah, but I'm on the phone and, and on the cameras. And I'm hot. Yeah, right. Okay, I got the link. I just sent it to your... Um, there you go. Here, here it is. Go to your thing. It says browser base in your text. See it? See it? Did you see it? It's got a little duck. You see it? Go look at the last thing I just sent you. You'll see a duck on your phone. He's on because it's echoing. No, he's not in my backstage. I'm on two things at one time. I can't figure this out. <laughs> Kansas goes, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. That's what I deal with. What, Kansas? Well, her mouth are here. You guys got me out. Um, no. Did you press on the, uh, it says browser-based live studio for professionals? See it? I'm sending it again. Okay, I'm going to YouTube this time. Okay, you're going to do it through YouTube? All right. Yeah, and it says live. I'm going to drop the link again. Okay, here we go. I got to close this out. All right, close that out. I just fucked everything up. Okay, so he... Hello? Hey, it's me. Case Walls? Yeah. You know, like, Perplex is up here, right? Mm-hmm. You know she's not too happy with you, right? Hmm. Here he is. Hello, Don? Hey, Don. Stop, you are. Man. Yeah. Hey, hey Brian. <sighs> What's up, Don? I'm not a dumb bitch. My wife's calling me a dumb bitch. Oh, my God. Liar. How are y'all doing? I'm sorry. Hi. Hi. What's up, Don? So I'm Laura. Not much. How y'all doing? We share a mutual hate for someone, which is a good thing. So, Don, I I just have a couple questions. And I mean no disrespect, uh -huh. so don't think like I'm coming at you or I'm trying to disrespect you or anything like that. I mean, it's totally not like that. But I'm from New York originally, so people think I sound like that, but I don't mean to at all. So I was in Tennessee a couple of weeks ago, and I saw Summer's billboards, and they were actually very beautiful. Yeah, I saw two of them. Right. I had Nashville. Right. And... Some of my yeah, questions we went are, to we went to Nashville. Yep, there's two. We went to Nashville a couple times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're pretty far from Nashville. So, Don, one of my yeah, we was driving up through there. One of my questions is when you were on Ziggy's panel, I think last week, there was a kid in the background. Was that Hunter? Can't stop. Who's that? That's his wife, Candace. 
No, no, no. There was a oh, kid well, I've done the Raven Hell. She's so sick to never mind. What? I'm listening to you. No, it was definitely a kid. I can't hear her. You don't want to hear her. Is she mad at us? Yeah, she's pissed off at the world. Why? Because she's If in you pain. can imagine. Oh, because of the pain? Well, because someone stole our daughter. Okay. okay. So, someone stole our daughter. Uh, there's all kinds of people on there making uh, us look like the criminals, number one. And uh, hey, let me fucking say the story. Okay. Tell Candace I'm totally on her side. Okay, look. Tell Candace I'm on her side. I'm not against her. I know that, but she don't understand that. No, uh, I'm really not against her. I've been on her side. There's all before. kinds of people online. Look, look. There's all kinds of people online trying to make the abductor look like the superhero and who's trying to make us look like we're a crip. Who's if you can tell us who the abductor was, oh, then I promise this will all go away. <laughs> I promise. Oh, if I tell you who the abductor was? If you tell us who abducted us, that... we can hear back. We'll make this all go away, I promise. No if one I tell you who the me. abductor was? Yeah. Do you know? I don't think Hold you know. Hold the fuck up. Hold the phone. Hold the fucking phone. Wait a minute. Did I hear that right? Yeah, you, you said. Heard it right. Hold up, baby. What the fuck is happening? Baby, stop! Right? I can't hear a fucking thing over you. Stop. Why is she stupid? Stop! I don't even know what the fuck she's saying because I can hear shit over you. Stop. She's a dumb bitch. I have to hang up then. Cause I can't hear shit over your fucking loud mouth. Cause you want to make it. Bitch. And so someone should be. Her. Do you want to? Do you want to go and get her fire started? I will wait for you. It's fine. If she's uncomfortable, what now? If you want to go, make her comfortable and start her fire, or we'll wait for you. It's fine. No. Oh no! Stop, hey, hey, Candace. Yeah. Stop. Stop. Candace, I'm trying to help you. I really, truly am. I've been trying to help no you. Stop, I'm not the enemy. Trying to help me. I'm not your How enemy. You I have know? had you your back from the beginning. You're stupid. No, you, I, you don't even know what she's saying because you won't shut the fuck up. Yeah, I know what she's saying. Stop. I would like to know, but I can't hear a fucking word over your fucking Oh, eyes. I can't help you and her sucking dick. Stop, Candace. Suck dick some more. Suck your dick some more. Suck your dick some more. Candace, can I please fucking talk for a minute? Without... Fuck you and her both. Uh, I'll just fucking end it then because I can't fucking say shit. Candace? Let me help you, Candace. Let me help Ain't you. nobody trying to help us. I am there is no, There is nobody trying. I am trying to help. I do care, Candace. I honestly and truly do. I 
actually one of the reasons I turned on Chris was because I didn't like the way he was treating you guys. And I thought it was Chris wrong. McDonough. Chris yeah. McDouche. She doesn't like Chris him. McDonough. I call him Chris McDouche. But yeah, Chris McDonough. Uh, I'm totally okay. Wrong well, that's good. Okay. I, I keep saying. Look, she's at the point where she don't give a fuck anymore. But she needs to give. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm glad you. She needs to give a I, fuck. I'm, I understand she's hurt. I understand. I understand she's aggravated. I understand everything she's feeling. I could not even imagine what she's going through. Months already. I could not Ooh, even I imagine. That. Especially if the whole world is coming at you thinking like everyone's against you and all you yeah. want to do is find your daughter. Believe me, I get it. And I'm a fighter. And believe me, I get it. I understand. I do. Oh, Chris Thank McDonough's glad he, he should be a lucky. He He's is lucky I can't get my hands on him. Believe me. I hear you. He is real lucky. Because because of what she's going through right now, and because somebody stole our daughter, and then because he come out here and smeared us like he did, he's I lucky agree. I can't get a hold of him. He's wrong for what he did. Wrong. And be, yeah. He's real lucky because of the pain that she's feeling right now and uh, everything. And I don't know what my daughter's going through. And because Chris McDonough thinks he's got a smart mouth, he's, he's lucky. He's lucky he ain't got a broken jaw. He's lucky he ain't got a broken jaw. And I can't figure out where he's at. And, and I, I can't get a hold of him. He's damn but lucky. Need, but in, for the sake of summer, we need to stay strong. Right. We need to not right. break you know, we we have to stay one well, step I appreciate ahead. Your, well, Candace, stop. She's just upset. I understand that she's upset. I can't say that I wouldn't be upset either. No, no but, she's at the end of her ropes. And I understand, but she's got to stay strong for Summer and the boys. She has to. If she breaks down and Summer comes home, she's not going to be able, mom's going to be out of her mind. If, like, she needs if, to if stay Summer comes, if Summer, if Summer comes home, that'll be a different story. But I as understand. of right now, she's not coming home. As of right now, there's no hope. As of right now, there's no sign that she will ever come home. Why are you saying we don't know no that? Hope? But why are you saying there's no hope? You gotta have hope. Yeah, I cover a lot of crime stories. Well, now. we have hope because you there's so many hope. assholes out there like Chris McDonough and Mary Simon uh, Hartman and my stepsisters and all kinds of assholes out there that's gonna make sure that anybody who takes our size will be attacked. I haven't been attacked. Everything that they have. Side. I've taken your side. I haven't been attacked. I'm surprised. I'm really surprised. Because I got a big mouth. <laughs> but um, they took our heart soul from us. Now, me, if I ever find out who took her, if I ever find out who took her. It's not going to be good. Do you honestly... They broke my wife's heart, and they broke my heart. Do you know what happened that day, or any idea, or any thoughts of what happened that day? Yeah, you know, I know exactly what happened. This but is you what were happened. Careful, right? Some you were thought, yeah, I was at work, but you know what? I trust, I trust my wife's word 100%, Absolutely. and I know exactly what happened. One one hundred percent, and this is what happened. Some some sorry motherfucker come up here and abducted our daughter. That's what happened. Why? Oh, I believe that. Can't nobody understand that? Oh, I believe that. Why can't nobody get that why. through the fucking head? 
let me tell you why I believe that. Because the FBI said the dog scent ended okay. at the end of the driveway. And that to me sounded like that had to do with a car that she was kidnapped. So I, I agree with you that she was kidnapped. Yeah, thank you. That, and I always that's what it. happened. There's no other two ways about it. There just ain't no other two ways about it. She was kidnapped off our property. And I don't, Where you know what? Dog? I will tell any person, I will tell anybody that don't believe that. They can go straight to hell. Where was That's the dog? what happened. They stole our beautiful child off our property. I believe that. Where were they the dogs? They took our little girl. Were the dogs not Our there stupid there? fucking oh, dogs that are stupid as fuck. We don't, man. Hey, please, please. You're talking about some stupid mutts that are stupid as fuck. <laughs> They're not like German Shepherds. They're not like high-profile dogs of Great Danes who are talking about stupid mutts that don't give a f Man, you got to understand these dogs that we have are fucking dogs that people just drop off here. They stole all our good dogs. They stole our daughter. They stole, And they drop off their fucking mutts here. And we take care of them and we feed them. But they're stupid. These dogs here are fucking mutts that people dropped off here. You have to understand they're stupid as fuck. Why do you why do you think that they bark so much with like Chris when Chris came, but then they wouldn't have barked? They bark it. No, no, no. That's a lie. That's a lie. No, it is a that's lie. That's a fucking okay. lie. I'm just I can going show by I can show you videos. Yeah, well, he's a liar. I can show you videos where people come up here and they don't bark at all. And then I can show you other videos where they bark at nothing. Absolutely nothing. These dogs don't mean shit. They're stupid as fuck. Do you They're think... lucky I don't... Never mind. Now, I know with my dogs, like, my dogs can detect evil, so maybe the dogs detected Chris was evil. But do you think that... Um, these are the stupid. These are the stupidest dogs you've ever seen in your life. Do you think? You Trust knew, me. I'm, do you think the dogs may have known the abductor, and that's why they didn't bark? Ooh, that's a good question. Man, these dogs are so stupid. They don't know when to bark, and they don't know shit. And they sure as hell ain't gonna fight off nobody. They're gonna run like little bitch ass. Yeah, my dog does that. My little dogs wonder. like they are. These dogs are stupid that we have here. They're mutts. If people drop off here, you guys don't understand. You're not hearing me. You guys yeah, are not hearing me. Not all oh, mutts gosh. are dumb. Well, these fucking mutts are dumb. <laughs> Do you think the abductor knew the dogs? And it that's don't why it matter I'm with these dogs. These dogs, wow. you can just totally count off because they're stupid these dogs doesn't matter these dogs don't they don't know when to, man these fuckers dogs bark all night over nothing and then when someone comes up here they don't bark at all yeah you can see it in the videos if you watch all the videos these dogs are stupid as hell the dogs don't even come into play trust me don't do even think, count these dogs as nothing do you think somebody took her maybe for Look, like high some this is what we know. Taken our somebody daughter? abducted our daughter. Yes, no, but most someone abducted our daughter. Yes, but most people abduct this for is a the, reason. This is the money. fact. I know, but most people abduct for a reason, whether it's money or for a sex trade or something. There's usually a reason. Right. So I'm just or, wondering or for or, 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 or for or for personal sexual gratification. Oh, God forbid. Or just to kill some little kid. God forbid. Yeah, I think they would have found her by now if that was the case. I do. That means she's far found. away from here. It's that means possible. she's far away from here. It's definitely possible. Oh, um, that's probable, not possible. Why do you think... Candace's mom took off right after she went missing. 
Was that just coincidence or? Gosh, damn, this is the thousandth and ten thousandth time I've answered this question. Oh, you've asked her that too? I've only answered this question. This will be my 1,199 time I've answered this question, okay? Just so you know. I'm sorry. Because she wanted to avoid all these. No, listen. I'm not trying to be mean. It's okay. okay? But you have to understand. I get it. She was smart enough to get the fuck out of here to avoid all these stupid questions. That's why. She went through this shit with her first child. When and Rose that, Marie Bly is come up soon, we, she went through all this shit with her. She seen this shit coming. She knew it was going to happen. That's why she left. Because she knew she seen all this shit coming. Probably. But she should have stuck it out. I mean, don't. But didn't Candace need her? I mean, that's her mom. Yeah. Right. But her mom ain't never been her for her before, and nothing has changed now. Do you think it's possible that her mom had something to do with the abduction? And that's just a question. No, that's not a no, no, because I would kill the bitch, and I would kill any bitch for doing taking my daughter. Anybody, if I find out who took my daughter, I will kill them. I don't blame I promise you. you. I can understand. If I, I thought that, she would already be dead. I'm not a killer, but when it comes to my daughter, I will become a killer. I understand. I promise you. The problem with that is that if you do find out who did this and then you kill them, there's no problem with me. Anyway. I don't give a damn. Not when it comes to my daughter. You don't know. When I find out who took my daughter, I will be probably going to prison and I don't care. That's fine. I've never been that way. I've never wanted to hurt what would be in my life. But when you fuck with my daughter, that's a whole different fucking story. I get it. Somebody's going to fucking die. I've never wanted to kill or hurt anybody in my entire life until now. You have to understand that. And if you think, if you think for one minute, that, I, that my mother-in-law has something to do with it, she wouldn't even come back here. I, I would kill that bitch. I would kill anybody. Man, she never come woman, back. man, I don't give a damn. Over my daughter, you fucking rise. Her mother. And she's here, and, I, and she's not dead, so what does that tell you? Do you think Rose was abducted? Who? She dumb bitch. Who? What? Rose, you talking about sister now? Yes, I'm, I'm just asking. Will you please let me fucking talk? I'm not accusing anyone. I'm asking. Not like I can't hear because this dumb bitch keeps opening her fucking mouth. What'd you say? Really? Man, please shut the fuck up, man. Do you think it's possible that what you say? Do you think that Summer's disappearance had to do with Rose at all, even though it was so many years different? Uh, you know what? We we don't know that. No. We have no idea. Because we don't know what happened to Rose. Therefore, and we don't know what happened to Summer. So there's no way of telling on that one. We don't know. I that's there's no I way know. of telling. And they never got any answers about Rose? No, not not one clue, nothing. The only thing that she, we know about her is she, she was supposed to go to a bar to meet some people, and her car was parked at a gas station, yeah. right? As far as I know. She I mean, was supposed to meet my cousin on a bar, and she never ended up there. Yeah, her car never ended up there. They found her car at a gas station park. Well, that's all we know. And that's, that's the last time anybody, nobody's seen her. We don't know. There's no way to tell them. And that's what makes me lose hope about Summer, that we'll never see her. Yeah. Statistics anyone... show 99% uh, of all the kids abducted get found. I don't believe that bullshit. No, not 99%, no. See, so can't, all right. So no, Rose I put her, I put her, I put, I, I put them, 
I put I put those statistics on Don Wells on my Facebook on Don Wells. I just don't believe in the statistics. It don't make sense. Ninety nine percent of all children abducted get found. I don't no, think no, so. Why is there fucking over? Why is there three hundred missing kids in Eastern Tennessee? And they're, and they're starting to say ninety nine percent of them get found. Something ain't right with. I call bullshit on that. But it's on my Facebook, Don Wells on my Facebook. But I don't believe it. I strongly disagree. Why is there 300 missing kids in this area right now and they haven't been found? Something ain't right. Something is not right. Yeah, Tennessee has a lot. Tennessee and Ohio and Iowa have yeah. actually have a lot. And the reason I think that is, is because this is easy pickings. In other words, yeah, you can come here from out of some big city or whatever high crime rate, but you can come out here and pick up kids. I seen a little girl the other day about two months ago. She's about five years old, just standing on a freaking on the street. I drove by her. I was just shaking my head like, what the freak, you know, and it was just driving me crazy. So when I come back out on the dead end, she was still standing there. I'm like, oh, hell no. So I pull in the driveway. And I, I asked that little girl, I said, where is your parents? She says, Papa's in the house, blah, 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 whatever. So I go and I knock on the door. And he's like, oh, look, look. I don't know what he's saying. I knock on the door again. And I just hear some mumbling. So I just open the door. And I said, you know, this little girl's out here on the freaking road standing out here, five-year-old little girl. He's like, blah, blah, blah. I couldn't understand what he's saying. I'm like, man, whatever. And I slammed the door and I went and got in my truck. And I told that, I waved at the little girl. I said, see you later. You know, and I got in my truck and I left. So the next thing I'm freaking here is this fucking little girl's mother fucking gets on fucking uh, YouTube or Facebook or whatever says I tried to coerce that little girl into my truck. That's the thanks I get for trying to uh, make sure that little girl was safe. The fucking wow. little girl's fucking bitch mother fucking spread the word that I was trying to coerce that little girl into my truck or some bullshit. That's the things I get. Wow. Yeah. That's what I, yeah, fucking bullshit. I'm so, oh my gosh. Uh, I almost you. went back up there. Let me ask you a question, because this is something I've wanted to ask you right. for a long time. When you in the okay, past, fine. when you were you had posted on Facebook um, a post about it, that it was a very beautiful post that you're going to see Summer again one day, and that you know God is taking care of her and she's in heaven and so on and so forth. And I just always wanted to right. ask you why. Why think she's dead instead of having to hope she's alive? Well, like I was saying before, okay, the human brain goes from one extreme to the other. And plus, plus the dreams that I've had, um, I've had some pretty serious dreams and stuff. Um so the, just the human brain goes from one extreme to the other. One minute you might have hope, okay, that I, I'm, a, you know, maybe God's going to turn this over and blah blah blah, and, and it might work out. And then next thing you know, you're way down in the dumps. You got ready to kill yourself, and, uh, and you just think, you know, there's no way I'll ever see my little girl again. And you, you just feel like going off the deep end. And then next thing you know, you, you, you're coming up and you're thinking, well, maybe there's hope again. You know, this is the human brain. You know, you just go to this low and a high, uh, you know, it's just it's just the way it is. You know, one minute you have hope. Believe me, right now, if I could find out who took my daughter, I'd probably kill him right now. If it, as, a, as in this moment right now i don't think i can hold myself back i don't know what i would do right now i'm just so tore up right now that's my state of mind right now 
tomorrow I might be a little different and thinking differently, but right now I don't right now I'm just so fucked up. I I I, I don't know. And I've never wanted to kill anybody in my life. But I do right now. I've never wanted to hurt anybody ever in my life. But I right now I, I could kill somebody. I get it. I would feel the exact same way if it was my child. And it just drives me insane, man. I, I'm just going crazy. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with myself anymore. I've never I, been this way in my entire life. I've actually said that before. I said, you know, as horrible as this sounds, I think I would rather bury a child than have one missing because missing, you just never know. You you just never yeah, know. Just it. Just it totally. it day. So I, I get it. And I just, I laugh. I shout at people, and I just don't know what I'm gonna do. I, I'm really worried. I'm just freaking out. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's like I need mental help, but they don't know how to help nobody. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I really don't. I'm really worried. Do you remember the day that I'll be too Do you, you remember the now? Summer went missing. I can't remember. I remember the exact day the summer went missing. I'm saying, what day was it? I might not. I might not remember birthdays or anything else, but that is one day I remember for sure. What about it? And what was the day? June fifteenth, five thirty. That was it. June fifteenth. Okay. Um, I couldn't yeah. remember. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember her birthday, but I remember that day. Isn't that <laughs> freaking crazy? That's all right. I forget like, things, too. I totally huh? forget things. I forget things, too. I couldn't yeah, tell you my but why do I remember that day? I don't remember her birthday, but I remember that day. That's weird. Wow. That's not weird. I mean, that's traumatic. It's very traumatic. Yeah, right? Oh. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. I completely yeah. understand. Right. Where do you go from here? Like, what, what do you want to happen? I mean, obviously, I know what the end result is. But what do you want to happen? Like, do you think this red well, truck I'm afraid I'm really scared of what might happen and what I might do. That's what I'm afraid of. Do you have any idea? I'm really scared of that. If I had any idea, I'd be up there, asshole. Yeah, but you they may be long gone. I'm just right saying. Now, if I had any idea, I'd be right up there, asshole, right now. I promise you. If I had a clue. If I had anything to go on, I'd be right up their ass right now. And the boys didn't say anything either? No, we're not allowed to talk to the boys about that. Why? Isn't that fucking crazy? That have you ever crazy. heard any bullshit like this in your entire fucking life? Why I'm not allowed talk to talk to my fucking boys about my daughter. That's been, what the fuck kind of shit's that? That's crazy. Why not? I've never even... Right? How do you process it? How do you deal with it? I had to sneak the other day when I was with Josie. I had to sneak and talk to him. Like I had to sneak and talk to him about his sister. I, I can't believe this shit. I can't even talk to my sons about their fucking old sister. What the they... fuck? Are they in therapy now? No, I'm not allowed to talk. According to welfare and the courts and everything, I'm not allowed to talk to my bo to my boys about their missing sister. Like, what the fuck? Like, she's a ghost? What the fuck is this? I don't Mom. get it. Yeah, I don't get that either. Ah, I don't understand it. That's no. Odd. It blows my mind away. So, so we're just gonna pretend that your sister never existed. 
Like, what the fuck is this? Did you ask oh them why? Gosh, it just blows my mind. Did you ask them yeah, why? Yeah, I tried to ask them why. Like, you just not allowed to talk about. Huh? Do what? Me? I'm sorry. I, I didn't hear you. Sorry. Oh, no. I was saying, did you ask the police or whoever why you can't speak to them about it? I asked the welfare case workers about it. Yeah. They just, you're just not allowed to talk about her. I'm like, in my mind, I'm just freaking out. You know, I'm not allowed to talk to my boys about their sister that's been fucking abducted. Really? I, I, oh, my gosh. What it just blows me away. What do the police say about the whole situation? Not about the boys. I'm saying in general, just about the whole situation. What they've told me, they, like I said, when I was in jail, okay, they, they, they took me into a holding cell, and they talked to me for like an hour and a half. And they said, look, Mr. Wells, okay, look, you might not see what we're doing. But look, we look like you guys said, you know, they said, we love your daughter like you do. We want you to understand that we're doing everything we possibly can. You might not see what we're doing. You may not get it, but we want you to understand, Mr. Wells, that we're, we love your daughter like you do. And we're doing everything possible to try to find her. You know, okay. they made me understand that. And I was like, man, I so appreciate that. You know, guys, thank you. I, 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 that's all I could do is just sit there and thank them, you know, because I didn't understand that until they made it known to me, you know, and because uh, I was just giving up. I just, you know, that's why I turned to YouTube and all kind of stuff, you know, because I didn't I know what they was doing. But, but they made sure that I understood that they did everything they you, can. Right? They did they not. Right? They haven't accused you of Candace or anything, right? Guys, I heard Man, about I got, it. I got, I got, I, I, hey, you have to, I have seven alibis. What? If not more. <laughs> Baby, don't break my fucking door. Come on. Really? Well, you are at work. Come on. Don't break the fucking door. Open it then. You dumb bitch. Oh, you call me a dumb bitch. You break my fucking door. Yeah, fuck you. You dumb motherfucker. You fucking whore. No, I have seven alibis. I have seven alibis. Candace ain't well, going you, down. She's going down. Work. Right? Yep. Yep. And they've, they've always said you were at work. Yep. And then. For, Plus, I have a good friend named Starlink. My buddy named Starlink. And, uh, yeah, Starlink. <laughs> now, Don, I've heard the story from other people, but I would love to hear from you, like, what actually happened that day. Because I've only heard it from, like, Chris McDouche and a couple of other people, but I would love to hear Have from you. you door, please. What what please don't break the door. Please don't break the door. I asked you a question. What? Are you at Oka Starling? I was talking to her. What? Stop lying. She asked me what? What is your question? What? I'm listening. Who is he? Come on, man. What? What real is this? I asked you a question. I'll just show your ass live on fucking. I'm live. Stop it. It's fucking live, you dumbass. No, it's not. It is. No, it isn't. I can't stop. 
Okay, whatever. Play a little game, Donnie. All right, I'm going to have to go. She don't think we're live and shit, okay? And she's fucking yeah. going off and acting like an alcoholic. I have to get off here now. That's fine. I thank you so much y'all. for talking thank to you. us. Don, I'll All talk right, to you later. You. Right, thank, thank you so much. Bye, Candice. Okay. Of course, thank you're Vic Swagger. Yeah, this fucking lying, you dumb bitch. You know, are stupid, man. I was just scratching my back. Man, I'm fucking lying. 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 Oh my God. Oh my God. Laura? Yes? Uh, whoa. Um, Tiffany, take the link, please. I I'm sorry, but I didn't know what to say. That was... I don't even know what to say. I'm sorry. Well, I think he was drunk. Yeah. Which, you know, why he was so rude. But this is their dysfunctional home. I mean, this is how they live. This is all she's ever known. And this is probably all he's ever known. This is who they are. It seems that the chat has been split 50-50. Yeah, I know. I saw. I it's stopped watching. The 50, 50 split with the chat. And to me, I was not ready for that. I did not want that. Um, I was not expecting him to come on. I'm glad that Laura talked to him because it's not my business to question him. I'm not... A reporter and I'm not a talk show host and I'm not a cop so 